Well, I mean, I think to me, and I've, I've, I use this quote quite often, a, um, a poet, a woman poet um, once said, you know, the world isn't made of atoms, it's made of stories. And um, I think it's our stories that, help, that keep the movements alive, if we're listening. And so to me, it's I'm so, I'm so glad and uh, respect so much that you're collecting our stories. Um, but also, new people are coming to us, and they're sharing their stories, and they're trying to find their voice. And I, I guess for me, what really drives me, and I think many people connected with VCIL, is we need to make sure we find ways to reach people and as soon as we can when they're dealing with disability so that they um, are able to, mo to move into their a place in their lives, if they haven't already found it, where they recognize the power they have as individuals um, to, to um, provide um, a catalyst to the world and to live their lives with integrity. And we, we meet so many people because the independent living movement is still in process where people have given up a belief in themselves or have never found it. And our job is to really figure out how we need to shape the resources we're lucky enough to have and how we can get more of them to uh, um, give people every opportunity to connect with their their human strength, their creativity, um, the tremendous amount they have to contribute. And one of the places we're seeing that is in the work we've started and been doing in the last seven years in youth leadership 